Hi, I'm Clarence from St. Paul, Minnesota, and you are watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Peace. Good morning, everybody. We're here in Saskatchewan on Highway 16 at the 24-7 truck stop, and it's cold. <laughs> this is the coldest it's been yet this season for me. I can see the exhaust vapor coming out of my stack behind my truck. You can see it coming off these trucks parked here as well. You know, that's the sign that it's cold. Oh, this guy's got like LEDs all the way up his CB antennas. That's interesting. Never seen that before. Cool. Huh. So we're going to Wakaw, Saskatchewan. A little over an hour and a half and we'll be there. Should be there right on time around 9 a.m. It's minus 23 Celsius outside. I was really hoping that the sun was gonna warm things up a little bit before we have to unload, but we're about 15 kilometers or 10 miles away. And the customer already called me and said that he's waiting there for me. He's gonna meet me at the co-op truck stop or gas station, whatever it is, and lead me to where he wants me. So I'm gonna have to unload this load Put away all the chains and equipment and roll up the tarp. For the first time this season in very uncomfortably cold weather. Bring it on. All right, here's the co-op. They said they're here and waiting for me. So I think they're gonna unload. They might unload me right here and put it onto one of their trailers. I think that's what they were planning. How do I get in here? Right here, right? I've never been here. So this is uh, Wakaw, W-A-K-A-W, Wakaw, Saskatchewan. Oh yeah, it must be them right there. And it warmed up a little bit, it's minus 22. I think that'll be them there with this little trailer, with their little boom on the trailer. I'll lift it up with that. Is this yard here? Can I drive here? I'm not gonna get stuck in a ditch here, am I? Okay. You never know with the snow. This must be them. I'm gonna talk to you guys when I'm when I'm empty here. There he goes over there already. Oh, he's out of sight already. Well, they got it all unloaded. It only took half an hour. It's awesome. Great guys. Uh, so now we're left with just these. These are going to Calgary tomorrow morning. All my tarps back there. So the hardest part is done. Whew. I had to get the winter gear out and everything. I just put this toque on now because I was sweating in that. But, whoo! Wasn't so bad, wasn't so bad. You know, winter isn't really that bad. Uh, it's just, uh, the buildup to it is worse than actually working out in it. As long as you keep moving and dress for it, it's not bad. One second here, I gotta make sure my shoe horn goes in my shoe. Vital information for you to know. That's what I'm doing. So I take my, put my work shoes over there and I change into my driving shoes. Okay, that was supposed to send. Send my message. Hey, there you go. Okay. I let the load gods know that uh, I have completed my mission. Well, part of it. Two thirds of it now. All right. Whew. Whew. So 
my blood pressure this morning. What are you guys looking for? Are you, guys looking for? you guys see me? You guys got the sun right in your eyes, eh? Probably can't even see me. My blood pressure this morning was uh, pretty good. It was 123 over 75. So uh, in the morning, it's always the best. So uh, that's a really good pressure to be at. So I don't know. Last night, it wasn't the worst either. I think it was 138 over 84. So maybe it's, maybe just going for a simple walk every day will bring it down faster than I thought. I don't know. Let's get you guys out of the sunlight here. Let's get out of here. If I would have known this truck stop was here, I would have just come here and slept here. But I looked on the map and this must be a new parking lot because this wasn't on Google Earth yet. So I didn't want to show up to a small town and have nowhere to park. I was getting tired anyways. There we go. And I put you guys right back in the sun. <laughs> it's a bright day. The sun won't get much higher above the horizon than that. Hence all the snow and winter weather. So uh, Calgary is 721 kilometers away from here. I don't know what's up with Karen. Karen's not really working right now. Karen, wake up Karen. It's time to work. Karen! She's jammed. Why are you jammed? Well, I know where I'm going. I don't need you, Karen. Why don't you go complain to the manager somewhere? Oh, wait. I am the manager. <laughs> I'm the boss. She's still jammed. I don't know what's up with that. Ah, she'll figure it out. She's a little slow sometimes. Saskatchewan, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Looks like they're delivering the fuel right now. I'm gonna slurp some of that up. I'm thirsty. Get me some DEF too. Hopefully the pumps for the DEF aren't frozen right now. We're here in Rosetown, Saskatchewan. And I'm all suited up, I'm ready to go for a walk again. I'm gonna go explore this little town. I forgot to charge my GoPro so my camera might die, so we may have to use the cell phone again for footage. And I know that isn't pleasant for any of us, but we'll see what happens. Diesel's gonna sit out this one again. Cause it's just a little too cold for your paws out there, man. A little too cold. We'll go for a little shorter walk later though, okay? Just like yesterday. Good boy. I'll be right back, okay? You got the heater on and everything. You'll be nice and warm. And off we go. Got my nipple hat on and everything. It's a little cold out here. I think it's about minus 15 right now, so it's not the coldest it could be. It'll get a lot colder yet. Oh, it's good to see. 
Rose Town believes in sidewalks at least. Unlike Nipawa, where we walked around yesterday. Which makes walking just a little bit better when you have a sidewalk to separate you, you know, from the cars. For sale. I guess those aren't for rent apartments, it's condominiums. One thing I never understood, buying a condominium, that's like buying an apartment. Why? Why would you want to buy an apartment, like a hole in a building? Oh, like, I don't know. Different people, right? Different people. Looks like a nice town so far though. Just coming up on Main Street here. Must be their little historic Main Street downtown. So far, I haven't seen quite as many churches here as in Nipawa. You got this one right here. Must be the main one. What does that say over there? St. Andrew's Trinity Anglican Lutheran Church. That's a mouthful. All right, well, I guess we'll see. Maybe we'll see more on these other small town, or I mean, in these other small roads. I'm gonna go see their downtown here first. It's not all that exciting, but. This was the original road in town, I'm guessing. Found another one over there. Another steeple, one street over. Wonder what that one is. And the GoPro died already. We found another one though, one street over. It's just weird though that the steeple is facing like this back alley. This must have been like the front at one point, right? Usually they would make that face the front. I don't know why it's facing the back. Maybe because oh, it's going over all the buildings and facing the highway, which is on the other side of those buildings. That's probably why we're facing the highway, so people see it. Okay. Okay. Rosetown United. Okay. Cool. So that's two. I wonder if there's any more in town. You can tell I'm from Steinbach when I go church hunting <laughs> in other small towns to see how many they have. <laughs> I want to see if any other town has as many as we do. Steinbeck's almost excessive. I mean, it's on every corner. What? I guess we... Whoa, almost slipped. Thanks. I guess we found the newer part of town. Very nice. They got a lot of snow here. Found another one. It's Rosetown Alliance Church. Alliance, is that a denomination? And it's just the Alliance? Oh man. Shows you where architecture has gone in church buildings, eh? Or, or maybe it leaves you with questions. Where has architecture gone? Not quite as fancy. That's three that we found now in our short walk. Nice 5.2 kilometer walk. Or three miles. Took me just a few minutes over an hour. I feel great. Two days in a row now, making healthy choices. Gotta keep this ball rolling. I still got my gym membership. I just haven't been there. Uh, I, I put it on hold over the summer and it's just reactivated. So I've got to start headed back to Snap Fitness. Probably go, I'll probably go there on the days that uh, are too cold to go for a walk. So if it's like minus 30 outside, I'll just find a gym somewhere. Get back out here. 
we have 512 kilometers left to Calgary. I'm gonna go to the Flying J in the southeast part of the city. I think it's on 40th Street, right? Karen's telling me I'm gonna be there quarter after eight. So if that's right, hopefully there will be parking available for me at that time. That's a pretty decent time to get there. Leaving Saskatchewan. Entering beautiful. Entering Alberta. Changing time zone. Way to ruin it, Karen. I was gonna tell them. Beautiful Alberta. Wild Rose Country. Didn't realize we were going through Drumheller. Should have known that. I've taken this route many, many times. It's always so interesting coming into this town because everything is flat, right? Everything's flat. You're on the prairies and suddenly, boom! This. I don't even know if it's picking up on the video, but it's a beautiful, beautiful town. If you guys haven't heard of it before, Google Drumheller, Alberta. Okay, never mind. That wasn't Drumheller, Alberta. That's just the same valley. It's just we're on a different road. I didn't think we were going through Drumheller. It looked very similar to it. But still, go and Google it if you got the time. Drumheller, Alberta. I don't know all these guys. These guys are all checking their brakes, I guess. Still have an hour and a half to Calgary. We're in Calgary. Just pulling up to the Flying J. It is 20 minutes after 7 in the evening. You guys think there's going to be parking for me? I mean, there should be at this time, right? It just feels like it's a lot later than it actually is because it's so dark already. Approaching destination in 100 meters on the right side. On the right side. Flying hook. You have arrived at your destination on the right side, 115140 Street. Oh, you don't want to name it or what? Oh yeah, looks like there's lots of parking here yet. Good. Hopefully we can find a good quiet parking spot in a safe zone where I'm not going to get backed into. Look at all these bobtails parking all responsibly. Look at that, taking up only one spot. Parking back to back. That is smart. I like that. Not just one bobtail taking up one whole spot. Alright, so these on the left are all... Oh, it is pretty full here. What in the world? Oh, there's a spot right here. Huh. I might have to take that spot. Let's see what I can find. I'll do a loop around the lot. 